Hello ladies and gentlemen of the internet, it's RJ and today we'll be taking a look at the Bandai Memorial Box Millennium Godzilla. As a brief overview, in 2004 this figure was released alongside several other new Godzillas as well as a few reissues in the 2004 Memorial Box. However, if you want to get this entire set today, be prepared to sell at least one of your vital organs, and perhaps your dignity. Starting with articulation, Godzilla's arms can rotate at the shoulders, however they will clash with the body, and Godzilla will whack himself in the groin, which is it's a fun time for everybody. The legs can rotate, although they'll go into the figure's elbows. The tail does nothing, as does the neck. So you got some glorious Bandai articulation. Moving on to the detail of this figure, you can see, starting with the face, his eyes are a nice cream color, his skin is a charcoal gray color, with nice minor green highlights, the teeth are a yellowish ivory color, the claws and toenails are also ivory, although less yellow. The spines are a purplish pink color, starting at his neck and moving down to his tail. And much like many other Bandai Godzillas, they just sort of stopped painting the tail spines. Here you can see the minor green accents I was talking about on his leg and back. And turning him around, you can see the highlights on the other side, although not as apparent. And here you can have one final look at the figure. And Maya's bent spine looks great. $40. For scaling, here he is with a myriad of other Godzilla designs. Here he is with Space Godzilla and the male Muto. Here he is with the headless 8-inch Godzillas. And to round things off, here he is with two Monster Arts figures. So despite this guy's insane rarity, if you're a fan of any of the Millennium designs and you have a little bit of cash to throw around, I'd say pick this guy up. He's beautifully rendered in vinyl. Unlike the older figure, he'll fit in much better with your Godzillas in the 6-inch... Fuck. 6-inch scale. And he's got pink spines! Looks, looks great! He's beautiful, vibrant, marmot, please.